Howard was subjected to psychic driving. Hypnotic-like messages were repeated over and over to a sleeping patient, sometimes for as long as 16 hours in a row. They were a key part of the mind control experiment. This is how Mrs. Huard remembers one of the messages. Why are you running away from your responsibility, Jinin? Why, Jinin? Why? Jinin, why are you running why away, are you from, running your away from your responsibility? Why are you running away from your responsibility, Jinin? Why are you running away from your responsibility, Why? 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 I would try very strongly not to be not to let my mind be capturing all the messages, but they would lower my resistance so much with the heavy drugs, but I, could, I couldn't do otherwise than listen. Sought treatment and instead were made unwitting victims of CIA experiments. The nine Canadians are seeking $1 million apiece in damages from the US government. The CIA intimidates many American law firms, but this case is being fought by a lawyer who defended Lillian Hellman and Arthur Miller during the McCarthy witch hunts for communists. In preparation, the lawyers have interrogated every CIA agent involved in MKUltra, including former director Helms. With the trial expected to start soon, Joseph Raw sums up the case with his junior partner, James Turner. What what we get out of getting you? Uh, John Gittinger is the former CIA staff agent who testified that at his request, the CIA contacted Cameron and informed him that a front in New York would support his work. As a result of that, Cameron received CIA funds to finance the LSD and brainwashing experiment. Well, in other words, Cameron, all he did was what the CIA was in effect asking him to do. Yeah. He, and what he said he was going to do, and he did it. And, and then they paid him money for it. And then what about... Uh, Gottlieb now, we got a lot of stuff out of Gottlieb. Here's one of his uh, depositions. We uh, got him, I take it. He said, I'm going to wash my hands of this. I am approve the project, but I don't have to take care of the Canadian citizens who are going to be affected. Is that fair? That's fair. He admitted that they took no steps whatsoever to guarantee that people wouldn't be injured if it could be avoided or to make sure that people even knew that they were participating in an experiment. Well, this guy Gottlieb's got quite a record, doesn't he, uh, on negligent action ahead of time, I mean, before this ever... Uh... Uh, he was personally involved in... ...of a uh, U.S. Army... Is that the one where they uh, put the uh, LSD in the Quantro of a guy named Olson? Yeah, and then he jumped out of a window and committed suicide in New York City. They and managed yes. to cover that up, too. I like a man who was general counsel of the CIA. His name's Larry Houston. And at that time, he said this was culpable negligence. He was a general counsel. And they went on, left a guy on the job who had uh, been guilty, according to their own lawyer, of uh, culpable negligence. What about Helms? We took his deposition too. It's right here. Yeah, it's an awful thick deposition. He didn't remember a whole lot. There's a, a major case of forget me. It's the only uh, thing that he, we really got out of him was that uh, he instructed uh, Gottlieb, uh, the CIA's Dr. Gottlieb, to destroy the records. When the story broke about the covert CIA activities on Canadian soil, the United States sent a formal apology to the Trudeau government. But external affairs minister Alan McKechn has refused to release that document to Mrs. Orlico and the others in the lawsuit. This declassified State Department letter shows why. Addressed to the Canadian Embassy, it reads, This is with reference to your request for the views of the U.S. intelligence community concerning possible release by the Canadian government of certain documents relating to the Orlico matter. Your request was given careful review on the basis of which it has been requested that the Canadian government withhold from public disclosure the documents in question. We moved heaven and earth to get the correspondence and the documents and the discussions between the Canadian government and the United States. The United States won't give it to us because they're covering up uh, their wrong. The Canadian government won't give it to us because they're scared of the United States government. Both of them are holding back all of the information about this. I think the case could be broken if the Canadian government would say to the CIA, we're not going to cover up for you any longer. We're going to allow, uh, this, we're going to give this material to Mr. Orlico for his case. Well, 
if the Canadian government has this apology from the U.S., why in the world do you think they wouldn't release it? Oh, I just think uh, the Canadian government's a little bit uh, uh, like international wimps uh, in the case of uh, the United States. I don't know why they're so scared of us. We're not going to do anything. I don't think the 7th Army is going to attack Montreal because you give us that material. I understand, though, that the, that the American position is that this kind of CIA material can't be released for national security reasons. Maybe that's true. Well, security, my neck. First, the CIA, the, the, everything they forget. Then when they have to stop forgetting, because uh, it's ludicrous, then they say it's all national security. What is national security about the apologies of the United States to Canada? They get very belligerent, the Canadians, with the Russians when they shoot down the uh, 007 with some Canadian citizens, but when the CIA covertly does something to all the citizens, ruins the lives of many of these citizens, well, the Canadian government is doing nothing. I don't know why. Canada made forceful representations on behalf of the Toronto businessman who was kidnapped by bounty hunters taken back to Florida. That wouldn't indicate that they're afraid to make a ruckus down here. That was a pretty easy situation. I mean, my God, you kidnap a Canadian, uh, take him to the United States, heavens above. Uh, and furthermore, you, who do you have to fight there? A couple of bounty hunters. Here you're fighting the CIA. That scares the, the Canada. I'm surprised that if your case is as strong as you say, that the American government isn't trying to get an out-of-court settlement, pay out a bunch of money, and just hope it'll go away. When the CIA went into this brainwashing stuff, what they call the MK Ultra program, when they went into that, they injured lots more people than the nine we are suing for. They injured a great many other people. Here in, here in the United States? Here in the United States. They may feel that they've got so many skeletons in their closet that settling with us, even though we're clearly right and they would like it to go away, would hurt them as a precedent. I can't think of any other reason that they're being so really rough on us. I think there is a duty on the government to, uh, to uh, release, in a matter such as this, all of the information it has. Alan Lawrence is a conservative justice critic in the Commons. There's been government complicity or government negligence, so be it, you know. Uh, uh, it, it's far better to make a full disclosure and, and, a, and a full confession of your sins in a matter such as this. It's always a difficult thing for anybody to sue a government or sue a, an agency of a government. And if you don't have the cooperation of your own government in doing it, uh, you have uh, a few strikes against you right off the bat. If the process was reversed, if it was some sort of a, a, a secretive uh, Canadian operation taking place in the United States, I'm sure all hell would break loose uh, down there as far as beating of breasts and waving of flags and whatnot. If the material came from the States, perhaps they're bound by, if not law, good manners to not turn it over if the source of the information doesn't want it turned over. I uh, don't know about manners. Uh, I don't know about international manners very much. But I know this. If I were in charge of a government, to whom nine citizens that we are suing for have been brainwashed without their knowing, have had their lives impaired, and have it done by a foreign agency, undercover without the government of Canada knowing it, I would find a way to help those people instead of hindering them. We tried to ask External Affairs Minister McKechn why the government of Canada is not helping these Canadian citizens who are victimized by agents of another country. But for more than two months, Mr. McKechn has been unavailable to discuss the matter. What do you want to tell Mr. McKechn, for example, about what happened to you? How you feel about it now? I would tell him to try what would have been true and see what he would have to say after. Because uh, only when you go through such an experience, one can say how bad it can be and uh, how painful. I'd say, come on, get off your horse and help us. We need some help from our government. We are innocent victims of something that happened that should never have been. And you can't make it. You can't put us back where we were. 
but at least do something to help us now. Do something to stand up and say, this can't happen in Canada. What can you possibly get for your clients out of this case? You can't get their health back. That's not possible. And they're older people, and some of them may die during this uh, stonewalling by the CIA. And some of them may get worse. One of them, at least, is in an institution now. I mean, the thing is very much needed, needing of speed by the, uh, to get recompense. You can get some money. That's all you can get. That's all you can get when a doctor misoperates on you. You, you don't get your health back. There's no way we can get our health, their health back. But what we can get them is some funds to help ameliorate their old age uh, with the damage that's been done to them by this lousy uh, performance that occurred through the CIA by Dr. Cameron mistreating them and hurting them. One thing which triggered Mrs. Huard's initial depression was growing deafness in one ear. That was later corrected with minor surgery, but no surgery can undo Dr. Cameron's work at Ravenscraig. I cannot go to sleep without any medication. I have uh, migraine headaches that last for a week at the time. Doctors cannot find a cause. Uh, I have uh, slight amnesia. I have a lot of trouble to concentrate. I've never been able to sleep without medication since the sleep treatment. I went through years and years and years of severe depressions. I dream about it. I, all, my, all my waking hours, I think about it. It's, uh, I, it's eating me up. I've been hospitalized. When I first went home to Winnipeg, I attempted to take my own life because I couldn't endure the way I felt. And uh, I have a a chronic need. I'm very dependent on other people. And I have a chronic depression, which at times gets worse. Not being with my family, not being able to follow a career, not being able to study anymore, which I wanted to do very much. Uh, I would say it cost me my life. All right, watch Joe Biden call KKK member and Democratic Robert Byrd, a friend and mentor. Former Vice President Joe Biden emerged from his basement earlier this week for a press conference in Delaware. During his remarks, Biden continued his virtue signaling on race and the soul of America. I think the idea of bringing down, I think all of those Confederate monuments to con Confederate soldiers and generals who strongly supported secession and the maintenance of slavery and went to war to do it. I think those statues belong in museums. They don't belong in public places, Biden said. Hence why they were attacked and taken down by those Antifa and Black Lives Matter, right? But it was just 10 years ago when Biden was praising KKK member and Democratic Senator Robert Byrd as a mentor and friend. The Trump campaign is serving up the reminder. To me, for a lot of us, he was a mentor and a friend. And for a lot of us, he was a guide, Biden said, at Byrd's funeral. Flashback. This was a Trump war room. This was a tweet from uh, text Trump to 88022. Flashback. Ten years ago today, Joe Biden delivered a eulogy to Senate um segregationist and former KKK exalted Cyclops leader, Robert Byrd. He called him a mentor and a guide and a friend. Byrd once led a KKK chapter with 150 members. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who recently accused Senator Senate Republicans of being in on the murder of George Floyd had similar things to say. Senator Byrd's service and leadership are more than worthy to be remembered 
for more many generations to come. She praised he was a great American patriot. While speaking at his funeral 10 years ago today, Speaker Pelosi called former Ku Klux Klan member Senator Robert Byrd, friend, great person, great American patriot. And there's Nancy Pelosi, right? All right, you guys, remember to, to support us here, you guys go to PayPal at the at gmail.com. For those of you with ticket citations, mortgages, foreclosures, child support cases, and those of you with citations, and those of you with warrants and having to see an agent doing business as parole officers, as well as those of you in for non-violent offenses, you can email us at the at gmail.com for the GSA bonds to set off, set off, set off the matter and the 1099 OID to get by the finances they claimed you owed, as well as the IRS status correction, the do not detain affidavit, the fraudulent conveyance of language laws that we use, and a whole host of stuff that we can share with you here. You can email us at gmail.com. We do ask for donations for our time. I like to pray. Heavenly Father God, we pray. I know a lot of people say there's no God out there. There's a God within and the universe creator that's that's outside of all of us, right? So I want to put a hedge of protection around all that is good globally and all that is not so good. I want to put a hedge of protection around the army, the navy, the military, the marines, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and all of us to get through this time, all right? Now, um, attention office of International Criminal World Court, the army, the navy, the military, the marines, Jay Clayton doing business as Securities and Exchange Commissioner, Joseph Odding doing business as the head for the Comptroller of Currency, Louis DeJoy doing business as head for the Postmaster General, also the United States Federal Trade Commission Clearinghouse um, Office, also the Antitrust Department, also the Universal Postal Union, Interpol, and the Federal Bureau of Investigations Heads and the Fraud Department. I come to you I come to you in good faith here and for the record, I stand my ground. Surrey, Jerry, Surrey, heiress, heir to the world's vast estate. American Indian, Lodial Title Morris, American National, Rubenite Tribe Chief, Noble Honorable Ange, Ellie Nitty, Alfred L. Rubus Red Rose, Angel in Latin, holding the highest diplomatic office, AA222141, also 4495934. All right, um, I command, order, and demand, and require all heads at the top now to go and round up all the CIA agents this night that was doing the MK Ultra, right? And all those agents that put all the crap in the foods in that, that a lot of us can't remember what we did yesterday. All the fluoride, all the MSG, all the crap that they did to us in addition to all the hospitals and stuff, Markham Silva Hospital, Sunnybrook Hospital, a lot of these agents doing business as doctors there and just entities under the Pope, the, the Jesu as working as Jesuits for the Ro Pope, Popes of Rome, also for the foreign queen who's now extinct. Go now and round them up this night and make sure all the people globally are compensated, right? Those people who were subject to the Rockefeller Board of Education indoctrination system, we know nothing about our history. We know nothing about our state. We know nothing about our lands. We don't even know geography. We don't know all these things we've had to take in, have to take years and years and years to go back and do the research and study out where all these places are. And a lot of people to this day, as you know, in the comment section, have no clue. They have no clue where the American continent is. They don't even know what's in it. They don't know that the United States is a corporation, and they don't know that there were several USA, US, um, United States, United States of, of America corporations. So go now and see to it that all the people are compensated for all the harm that's done. As you know, what we're suffering from this night with the teenagers and all the young people, right, that's going after Donald Trump, and they have no clue of all the good that he's done for all of us globally. They don't even know what he, what he did for them. So you're going to have to go now because they are obviously still in the indoctrination, the MK Ultra, with all the celebrities and all the things that they were subjected to as well. We know that a lot of them had to be taken out for the pedophilia, however, do that part. But the other ones that are still remaining that know that they were also subject to the MK Ultra mind control and all the other harm that they were that they've done to us those of us who had accidents i can't remember what happened we know we weren't necessarily driving the automobile but we can't remember nothing so go now and see to it that all of us are compensated globally for all that harm 
done by the CIA, Canada, and all these different corrupt corporations claiming to be countries globally. Um, yeah, and the U.S. Um, corporations see to it that people are compensated properly. Do that for us now. Send it to us. Just deposit it in the bank accounts and stuff. Do it right away so the people have access to food and stuff that they need for their families, eh? Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Angie Elena D. Alfred El Rubenai, Tribe Chief, American Indian, Elodia Title Morish, American National, Empress Queen, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. All right, Toloko no nahe takrana takrana no toko i takrana takrana no toko i takrana nina na ka koi la takrana no toko no toko no no takai ni he takrana no 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 koko koi la takrana i takrana no toko no no o o o o ka kai ni la takrana no toko no no. And the people that swear that they are not a part of MK Ultra and they've done really well and they're very successful and they don't want to be a part of this, they don't have to be a part of. It. Let them stay where they are, right? Those of us who know that we were subjected to all the stuff that they were talking about in the so-called CIA MK Ultra, compensate those people. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. Remember to subscribe to the Noble L the Second channel and the Noble L channel. I'll post it uh, snippets of um, one on the original channel, and this one will go on the Noble L the Second. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day.